Welcome to my English talk show everyone. Well, it is that time of year again. Appraisal reviews, goals and training plans. Our reporter Gabby is with teacher Philip with some great information on this topic. Take it away Gabby. Hello Claudia. Yes, we have many questions from the audience about an annual review. And today Teacher Philly is here because he is going to answer all the questions about annual review. We are, go we are going to start. Welcome, Teacher Philip. Thank you for having me on your show again. I always enjoy being on English talk show. Yes. Teacher, you have a lot of experience in this area. Tell us about an annual, an annual review or 360 profile. Well, every company has a different <coughs> format. It could be a one-on-one, -on -one. can be what they call 360. Uh, your boss reviews you and you review your boss. Now that's a newer idea. The, the unfortunate thing about annual reviews is they're only done once a year. Okay. When do companies and managers perform these reviews? Uh, typically in the first few months of the new year. Like right now, I've, I've heard feedback from a few people that I haven't had my review yet. I don't know what to say. So typically it's January, March. January, February, even early March. Yes, teacher. Um, now, how can English for my future help? Well, again, uh, we have special classes that are about things like job interviews, um, presenting your idea. Remember, this is your opportunity, and unfortunately, in many companies, it's an opportunity that you only get once per year. Now, newer companies do it quarterly, monthly, but for deciding your pay increase or your possibility of promotion, they do it at the early days of the year. Now, they review statistics from the past year, qualitative and quantitative goals that you, and they give you a rating, one to five, one to 10. Every company is different. An important thing for you to do all year in English or in Spanish, if, if it's, you know, if you're in a local company, is you need to remember. Remember, in the world of work, even if your boss really likes you, which we know doesn't always happen, um, if you don't promote yourself, nobody else is going to. Yes, it's true. So what you should do, what I've always done, and then successful, is open a Word document and write things that happen every day, good and bad, what you can improve on, Make your own goals. Now, typically at the beginning of the year, you'll establish goals with your boss, manager, be it in sales or accounting, finance, procedures, qualitative goals, things that you'll do, projects you'll finish. Um, it's also very important Written, dial, a written diary or log of things that you've done, uh, things that you've improved, uh, courses that you've taken to help you achieve your goals. Because they might brag. So look, sir, this is what I, or ma'am, this is what I accomplished this year. Maybe I need to work on this a little bit. I will improve it. I'll improve my English. I'll improve my technical knowledge. I'll improve my technical English. So 
we can help with all those things. And oh, that sounds interesting. Could we see a short video or two about them in the commercial break? Okay. You know, there's certificate courses, like uh, they're similar to diplomados, but they're in English. Some of them you can finish in three weeks, four weeks, and they're useful skills, public speaking, persuasion, negotiation, forecasting, even financial topics, uh, analyzing financial statements, um, team building, managing a team, if you're looking to get a promotion, uh, more than 60 topics, some of them very easy to take. And it shows, well, and obviously, most importantly, very often to get a promotion, you need to have a higher level of English. We can document your level of English and improve it, um, among many other things. Uh, for managers, you know, we have a Similarly, with a lot of courses, how to help employees set goals, KPIs. Um, maybe your KPIs don't align. So what are some of the development courses that a pro proactive employee or manager can take with English for my future? Oh, we have many. Like I mentioned, uh, managing teams, uh, KPIs, key performance indicators. Uh, financial forecasting. If you can find it, if you can forecast profits, you can uh, <laughs> you can make a lot of friends in the company. A uh, lot of different accounting courses, uh, logistics and supply chain, logistics and supply chain, a new area that's uh, going to be very important in Monterey with nearshoring. Uh, Lots of courses, uh, and they're in English, and you get a diploma from a U.S. institution. Plus, you build your English communication skills, be it in writing and speaking, presenting. Many, we, we have more than 60 topics, plus our normal six levels of business English. Thanks, Isha, for all but the do it now in the beginning of the year so you can make it a goal that you achieve by this time in 2025. Yes. It's important to know all this information, Tisha. And thanks for giving all the details that, that you share with us. Oh, it's a pleasure, Gabby. Whenever you need me, I'm here. We're here to help. Thanks. See you. Perfect teacher. I've been learning Spanish. Congratulations. Too. Thank you. I always enjoy appearing on your show, Gabby. Thanks, teacher. See you soon. Bye. Claudia, too. Yeah. Bye. Bye. We'll Claudia. see you very soon.